Leading space before he comes in. But when he does, he goes in quickly with that finger and a lock to a full Japanese stranglehold. Remember Cullen's knee right in the back of uh, Marty Jones. Trying to get a backbreaker out of it as well. Cross press this time. Cullen out of the way quick. Yeah. A lot of pressure on that arm. Really. Walks a little bit too near. Cullen is, turns the foot nicely in a torn ankle. And has got the advantage now. That step over move. That leg with the feet. Sh shades of the great uh, Japanese wrestler, heavyweight, Antonio Inoki. There he uses that move a lot. Reaching for a reverse crutch hold again. Less than half a minute now. Take your full leg lock. Comes up to the head end. I'm sure the head can't turn her right the way. Pulls him all the way up. And he could get a submission from this. If he does, it's all over this bout. Tremendous backbreaker on there. Figure four still on. Seven seconds to go. Five. Four. He's trained for the surfboard, but he's not got time to get it. No, no chance. And Marty Jones looks up at the timekeeper, a bit mad at him for ringing the bell at exactly that moment when he was just going to look for a surf surfboard. Submission hold. But the way Cullen took that really was something to watch. Frank Chick Cullen, who uh, turned full-time full -time pro 1980. We first saw him in 81, three years and an amateur at the Allen amateur wrestling club at the uh, Bridge of Allen. Weight training, quite a lot, but uh, he's coming away, up fast. Round five. Round five, four to go, and still Jones leading Cullen by one for the nail. Jones on the left in the dark strip. He's back to us now. Got in there beautifully as Cullen came past off the ropes. Jones trying to throw his man all over the place now. I think the crowd hoping that Cullen can come back into this boat. I'd like to see him get that equalizer. At the moment it certainly doesn't look like it. Jones' experience really showing now. Oh. over the top color oh but Jones not gonna fall for that in fact it's Jones that nearly caught it and it, oh this time it's color right nicely back on the head and the weight went perfect and Jones fell for that very angry he fell for that one one of his own tricks just one minute six seconds into round five and it's the equalizer to Cullen and a great one and one minute six seconds at round five the equalizing fall to the flying scope Chick Cullen. There's 
the expected applause from the crowd. We'd love to see him come back from one fall down to equalize in round five. But there are still three rounds to go, and I'm still a bit frightened that uh, Marty Jones' experience might show. This is away, round six. psychology there used by Cullen both of them trying tricks on each other but Cullen's move came off beautifully forced John Jones back on his head held the feet dead right and that was it now it's Jones starting for a full Boston Crab attempt if he can get that leg right over the top of his opponent there it is now the Boston Crab full on can he get the submission he wants from it no, he released. For some reason, he just decided to release there. I thought he's not going to give. I'm not going to strain away at this. He tries for the further shoulder press, but hadn't got enough room. The ropes got in the way. Up to the stomach. Follow up the headlock and strangle. No, no strangle in. I won't make that much way. Yes, the. The left arm should be around the neck, just about. There's the strangle hold and headlock. Turning the head with it. Colin's left arm caught up in there too. It comes right back into the center of the ring for a knee drop. Jones really dictating it now. Can see Cullen coming back again, but on the other hand, it would be great if he could. The crowd would love it. Full Boston crowd and a submission hold here. He didn't get it last time, Jones, but he's trying again. Last time he released, you remember? And he's releasing again. If he doesn't get a submission quick, then he's going to release and try something else. One minute to go, round six. I'm getting up a lot at eight and a half at nine. Takes him in reverse beautifully over the top. And Jones and Cullen doing beautifully there. And almost gets it. And only just thrown off a two. Jones smiling now, but he was worried then. And he even congratulates his opponent on that move, which nearly got him. That could have been the winner for Cullen. Forward leg trip, 15 seconds to go. Jones on the attack again. 10. Five seconds. Now, he's left the too late now. When this man started in wrestling, he was a British champion, the British champion finalist, didn't quite make it, but he was the age of 10, and believe it or not, he was beaten by a boy of 16 in that final. So he started really young, and he seems to improve all the time, this man. Seconds away, round seven. Round seven, just two rounds to go, still one fall each then, Cullen versus Jones. Yeah. Cullen, who's never held a major title at all. Jones, of course, who has both light heavyweight, mid heavyweight, and heavy middleweight. But hasn't got any of them now. Nicely, four arm smash right on the cross there, right across from the ropes. Did it all beautiful drop kick, and that's, that could be it. That could be it. I can't. I'd be very surprised if we can see if Cullen gets up on that one. And another one on top of that. Oh, really in trouble now, Cullen. And Jones going in now for the slam and the cross press, which must be the finish, surely. And him weakened so much, but no, he still can't get him. Oh, I could have sworn that was it. How Cullen got out of that one, I don't know. But he did. He's still alive. Yeah. Posting weakness. 
Nicely switched. Nice switched. Pulling one last despairing effort. It looks like a bunch of slam cross press. Thrown off quite easily. Oh, going for the clutch hole, but Jones got him in there first, and there we nearly folding press, but very near the ropes, but he's got it. And Jones with that sideways on folding press in just one minute, 30 seconds, of round seven. Jones the winner by two falls to one. But what a bug. A titanic contest, and in the seventh round, the winner is Marty Jones.